Scribe is a tool that allows you to generate training manuals by taking screenshots for you as you record your screen. It wraps it into a nice step-by-step -step training manual, but you can also create pages which act as like standard operating procedures or SOPs, where you can embed your step-by-step -step guides within a page or a procedure or whatever you want to call it. In this video, we're going to go over the free version of Scribe, which is the cloud version, which is online, Chrome extension, all that. Then we're going to talk a little bit about Scribe Pro, which is their paid version, which allows you to have a desktop version of Scribe. Then we're going to go into their AI tool that they now have added as a feature of Scribe. And then finally, we're going to go over some of Scribe's competitors. If you're new here, my name is Liz. I'm a data science manager at Intel, but on the side, I like to review software tools in the effort to be the most productive person. So if you're into that, feel free to subscribe. Otherwise, let's jump into it. This is what Scribe looks like online. So you're going to sign in and do the free version. You don't need a credit card. Everything that I'm about to show you is all the free stuff. And then I'll show you the difference between Scribe and Scribe Pro. So I have a pro account, but Scribe basically is a Chrome extension. So there's a Chrome extension up here. You just click that to record your screen, but this is what it looks like on the interface. So you can see documents, um, my dashboard. You can see the people that are on my team here as well. Um, I'm the admin. And then I also have my business partner, Max, on my Scribe account as well. So we can kind of work on them together. But essentially what you need to do is record your screen for any task. So the best way for me to show you is to actually just record one. So let's say you're working on my team and I want to show you how to make a thumbnail because I don't want to make my thumbnails anymore. All you have to do is press record or start capture. So start capture. Now capture your browser. Great. Then click how to do everything. So maybe you just want to add one and then we'll delete all this and it's a blank page. And let's say you want to take this and you want to remove the background, but you, you don't want to walk them through it step by step. You're just going to capture this and generate the training manual because you're lazy and you don't want to spend all this time screenshotting and all that. So then we're just going to kind of let it do its thing. Um, as I click around, you notice that this is recording right here. So then we're going to say apply and bam, and then you can click whatever you want, but I think that's good enough for now. So now I'm gonna press stop recording or stop capture. And it looks like there's some recommended scribes there as well, which is cool. So, and then it generates it, it names it, it knows what I just did, right? How to remove image background in Canva. Like how cool is that? Go here, click this icon, and it shows you step-by-step -step how you did it. Click here, delete, delete, great. And you can delete these steps. Like I don't really need that. So you can delete these, click here, click edit image. And this is where it's like so powerful because look at that. You have a step-by-step -step guide then to share it. You can either share it with your team, right? You can share with my Rao Labs team, or I can share it with a link and just send them a link. Now this will help you, right? Because then you can say, this is exactly how you do it. You can train people super fast. I mean, you saw how long that took me. That was like um, 38 seconds <laughs> to create and I instantaneously have a good guy. And this is still the free version. So if I go here and I go to my documents um, and we save this, right, done editing, it will actually show up on my documents as well as my dashboard of me just doing that right here. So then it pops up here as just a scribe. What you can also do is you can embed the scribe in what's called a page. So you can capture a scribe, create a page. These are pro only. So all that's pro only. Um, so we're gonna stick to the free stuff. You can create a page for free. You can call it the Canva SOP, right? And then all I have to do is backslash any of these. And these are all your options. You can embed a video, a picture, headers, all that. I'm just gonna add the scribe that I just made and look for Canva and then bam, you can share it, share with link, and then you can write about it, remove the, the photo, the background, blah, 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 and just keep typing and then embed. And then you'll have this beautiful SOP, which I will show you an example of one. So this is one I made for SharePoint. And you can scroll down and you can see, look, I have all these 
guides that are step-by-step -step how to do things, right? Um, how to add content in SharePoint, you know, and just step-by-step -step guides for people that I want to train, right? Um, and then it looks great and you can even embed video. So there's my SharePoint video. So that's kind of what a page looks like. And then these are scribes embedded in them. Now there are some benefits to upgrading and doing scribe pro. So the first one is you can actually share this and export it as a PDF or HTML or Markdown or some other stuff. So that's the first cool thing because not a lot of people always want to have a link, but sometimes you want a PDF and then you can print it. Great. The most important one is the fact that you can actually use the desktop version of Scribe, which is this guy here. So now you can start recording Scribes that are like through Excel or something like that. So we can press new capture of Scribe, start recording and do an Excel workbook. Now you can kind of see it says recording right here, but ignore that. Let's say you need to go to this cell and you need to go to data and you need to like text to columns or whatever it might be, get data, blah, great. And then you press stop and then it generates the same thing, a training manual, but it grabs screenshots from your actual desktop. Like I just, I don't have words for how cool this is. So like forget doing videos or anything like this. Like you can add in here, you know, a tip, you know, make sure make sure you are connected to VPN or anything like that. So you can start making these perfect little training manuals. The other cool thing is you can actually go in here and edit. So I could go in here and annotate and do an arrow or, um, you know, text, text works as well. Put this out and start adding these customizable like stuff. You can even do a Sharpie. Hi. <laughs> like it's so cool. Um, and you could also, the coolest thing here is redacting. So if you saw something in here, like let's say I just didn't want them to see my name, you can redact it, right? So that's the cool thing is being able to start to edit your photos before you just had to be very careful what you clicked on with, with the free plan and then you press done and then everything's there. You can also zoom in or zoom out. So you have these extra features that you can't do with regular Scribe the free plan. Now Scribe did release the new AI. So Scribe AI now available. So you can actually go in here, create a page and call this like risk management SOP, right? And then you can backslash draft with AI and say, create an SOP for um, risk management of a large construction project, something like that. Press enter and then it literally generates an SOP for you. I mean, it's insane. And this is on the free plan as well. So I don't know if it will stay on the free plan, but when they launched it, it was on the free plan. So it's just so cool that they put like purpose, scope, definitions, and then they're writing the risk management process for me. And I'm like, wow. I mean, it's still going like right now. It's still going. That is so crazy to me. And then bam, you have just an automatic um, risk SOP. So I've been using this a lot at work just to get the, get the ideas flowing and then you can go in and edit that. Um, you can press stop generating for like, wow, this is just too much, but it's, it should probably wrap up here. But even right here, responsibilities, you realize how much is in this. And my guess is they had to tell it like what should be in an SOP. Like, how does it know? Um, so then bam, I have an entire written document. Literally took me two seconds. I could sit back, go get some coffee, come back and bam. So that's the cool part about having the AI tool. Cause before I just go to chat GPT and then write like, write me an SOP for blah, blah. But the fact that they have it inside here, press done, send the link to somebody, bam, I have a risk management SOP. It's just kind of crazy to me. I do want to chat a little bit about pricing. So we do have the pro version. This is the one I'm using. I'm using a personal one, starts at one seat, $23 a seat. Now the team one, you have to have a five seat minimum and you could do $12 a month. So I'm on this one and then I pay for Max and I'll probably cancel his in a couple months 
because I just need him working with me for a little bit, but I'm gonna keep this one. $23 a month and I can create SOPs for everything, including desktop and online. I mean, it's kind of a no brainer for me. And then I'm working on an enterprise license while I'm at Intel because I want to start using it at work. So I'm still working through that one. But I've tried all three at this point, um, working on this one, but tried all three. Now, the competitors of Scribe, I found one who actually messaged me on Twitter and it's called um, Guide. So I went in here and kind of played around with it. There are some key features that Scribe does not have. So I'm on this free trial and we can look at their plans to take a look at it. Looks like it's slightly cheaper, $16 a month per user, unlimited how-to, blah, blah, blah. Doesn't have the text to voice generation. So it does have a couple extra features that Scribe doesn't have, but we're talking around the same range, right? So what I did, it's almost identical, right? It's got the same capture up here, almost identical, right? <laughs> You do have to give it a little bit more information because it uses more AI. So when I go to capture, it wants to know what are you capturing, right? Employee training and then describe it and it will help produce it. So I just um, did an example one, very similar. And all I did was click some smart sheet stuff. I think I was doing a smart sheet one. Um, and you can see it looks very similar to Scribe, but it comes with this voice generator, which I find it very cool. Now again, it's not, this isn't part of the free plan, but you can get an AI voice generator that walks you through exactly how to do it and it's a video. Now, I personally wouldn't use it because I'd rather just film myself doing it because it doesn't sound as like automated in a sense. But if you look closely here, it's pretty similar to Scribe. You can add steps, you can move things around. It takes a picture of when you click things as well. And it uses AI to do click on the link or button labeled here in Smartsheet. It does an okay job. And then you have the table of contents on here, which, which is something that you don't get with Scribe. They don't have a table of contents. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, so this is just a competitor. If you're looking for something more that has complete video access, Scribe does not have that yet. They may add it in the future, but it's just another alternative. It's good to just know what the competitors are because they'll compete with each other on pricing. Another key feature with Scribe is the ability to embed these in a SharePoint site. So if we look at any page, we can look at share and then you can look at smart embed and it gives you the code where you can embed this into a SharePoint site or Webflow or some other sites. I would prefer SharePoint because I'm using a Microsoft platform and at my company, we use SharePoint a lot. So I would just embed it directly in there. And then you can, you can add some appearance effects and stuff like that. So I thought that was cool. It also comes with the free version. Um, so it's kind of nice to be able to embed this into a website because not everyone wants to go to an external link and click around because there's just so much soft software nowadays. To wrap everything up, I feel like Scribe and these other software tools that are using AI to document procedures is really gonna change the way that we create manuals. Because I don't know about you, but I would just take screenshots and then send it into Teams or Slack or whatever in order for somebody to follow along. This is much easier, just recording and then it generates a manual and then you can just send it off. So I think we're gonna see this wave of shift of all these cool AI tools being used in the workforce and that's why I'm trying to get it up and running at my company and then um, also within the company that I'm working for full time, which is Intel. So I think you're gonna see this shift of using these cool tools within the workplace. If you wanna see some other software that I think you should know about, especially in the workplace, I will link up here Innaten and Zapier. They're both low code automation tools. And I think you're gonna see a lot of people use more and more of it to automate admin tasks. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.